In this video, I'm gonna show you five Instagram hacks that will help you get the most out of your Instagram profile. Let's go. So before we get started, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials, and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also don't forget to click that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the five hacks that I use on my Instagram. And I've found that this helps me reach more people and also just get a better idea of the kind of content that I should be posting. So let's go. So the first hack that I wanna show you is where you should put your hashtags when you post. Uh, and if you're not using hashtags right now, you definitely should. This is gonna help you reach people that don't know about you just yet. So what a lot of people will do is when they're posting on Instagram and they put hashtags there, they sometimes put them in the caption. Now that's kind of been the way that people have done it for a long time is they put like a load of dots um, or they put like a big space between the caption itself and the hashtags and they paste it in there. Uh, the thing that I would recommend is pasting within the comments instead. So you can see on this post here that when I post, I go to the comments and you will see there is already like those hashtags there. So I just copy and paste from my notes and paste into a comment as soon as I post and that's the first comment that's there. So the reason that you wanna post your hashtags in the comments and not in the caption is because Instagram will decrease your reach if you edit your caption too many times. So say you've put your uh, hashtags in the caption and you wanna change a couple of them, you only get one or two shots to do that before Instagram starts to decrease your reach. So I would just say to be safe, put it in the comments and then if you do need to change anything, you can do it there and you won't have to lose any of your reach. So number two is post in a four by five aspect ratio. And all that means is, is the image is taller than it is wider. And so when you're scrolling on a vertical phone, you're gonna take up more room on the screen at any one time. When someone is scrolling through Instagram, your post is only gonna have a few milliseconds to catch someone's attention. And so if you can fill up more of the screen, there's more image there to catch someone's attention. So that's why you should do it. Just a quick note on the four by five aspect ratio, if you are gonna use it, then make sure that your text fits within the grid as well. You see, if I zoom out here, the top and bottom of that image gets cut off when it's fit into the grid. Uh, and so if you've got text that's kind of like really integral to the part of your design and it gets cut off, then people are just gonna scroll straight past, especially on things like the Discover page. So just make sure that that's still in there and then kind of use the extra top and bottom space that you have when you go into the image. Try and use that for extra aesthetic design, more eye-catching pieces, so you really do grab that attention. Number three is post in a variety of formats. You see, if I go over to this plus icon on the profile page, you can see we've got posts, stories, story highlights, IGTV video, reels, and guides that you can all use uh, to get the most out of Instagram. If you wanna reach a wider audience, then make sure that you cover all of those bases because some people are only gonna be interested in reels and some people are only gonna be interested in things like carousel posts or stories. So just make sure that you've got something for everyone so when people come onto your page, there's something there for them. Also, Instagram's algorithm likes to favor newer features such as reels. So if you wanna reach more people at the top of the timeline, then make sure you start using those new features. So the full thing is this, be personal. And this is something that I didn't do at the start of my Instagram. Uh, what I did was I had a logo as my um, profile picture. I didn't really post much, any pictures of me or anything like that. People value personality. They look to people and faces that they can trust. And so if you can build that trust associated with your face and your personality, you're gonna uh, have a much better audience. If you're starting to build a brand, then try building the brand around yourself. You are unique and you are you for a reason. And as much as people can try and imitate, no one can actually do what you can. So use that to your advantage. Some things I do on my Instagram to be more personal is I appear in my stories quite a lot. Um, I make sure I have like engaging pieces going on my story. I also have on my um, bio here, I have a bit about me, I'm from the UK. I, I explain what I do, but then I also have a section where it says message me. Uh, my inbox is always open. So I'm, I'm leaving a call to action there where people can come and reach out to me. And I'm happy to have a conversation. I'm happy to talk about things and just engage with people. Um, they really value it. And I love to learn about other people and about what, um, what my followers are doing. So it's really cool. Um, and it's a good experience for you as well as an Instagrammer. If you can reach out and understand your audience and get to know them and hear their stories, it's only gonna make you a better person. And the fifth thing is this, always have something in your story. So when people go onto a profile, one of the first things they see is that red ring spin around the profile picture and you know that someone's got a story. And that's normally the first thing that people tap on when they go to a profile. So that's, that's a free opportunity to get people's attention. So make sure you utilize that. Uh, one thing that I do on my Instagram is that when I do post something, I'll make sure that I use that post and share it to my story so that people can know that I've just made a new post. 
And then I also feature a free wallpaper as well. You can screenshot and download that. And then it will also um, feature like story mentions or anything like that. If someone um, tags me on Instagram, I'll make sure that I feature it on my story as well. These are really easy ways to make sure there's always something on your story and that helps just grab people's attention when they go to your profile. And as a little bonus hack, number six is this, don't focus on likes. Now I know what you're saying, like that's one of the big metrics on, on Instagram. You can go onto your insights and see how many people have liked it. You can see your top like posts. But let me tell you something, likes don't mean very much. The quality of your content will go down if all you do is focus on getting likes. The best thing to do is focus on what you enjoy creating. Focus on the things that inspire you and motivate you. Don't focus on things that you think other people will like. Focus on what you like. If you do want to gauge the success of some of your posts, then what I would recommend doing is looking at the saves and the shares. Uh, these are two ways to really tell if someone's engaged with your content and wanted to put it out to the rest of the world. So those are the two things that I would normally use. How many times it's been saved? How many times it's been shared? That encourages me sometimes. If I know there's this like, encouraging post that I've put on my Instagram and someone saved it, then I know they want to look at that later and be encouraged by it too. So those are cool ways to kind of get an understanding for what people are doing with your content, but don't use that as the be all and end all of your work. Your work is far more than just what people say about it. Your work is an expression of yourself and of, for me, my relationship with God. Um, it's really just more than likes. So there you have it. Those are my Instagram hacks. Let me know in the comments if you want to see another one of these videos. I do have a few more hacks that I could bring to the table. And also let me know if there's any hacks that you use that I haven't covered. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.